are going to be trying to bring Candy some head. attention to this case. And on the defensive side, of course, Fnatic Boaster, the showman himself, he's winning hearts and minds, be it fans, be it other teams. Hell, be it the, you know, the uh, features team. They seem to like him too. But the boy puts on a show, but now it is time to step to the stage, right? This is where it all comes down. All that build-up, all that hype. And we look towards what looks like an A-piece. They're actually only one member of Fnatic, I guess, on guard here. Most are back behind screens. Try and deal with this drone. Again, deny some of the information, but it's like this is like a semi-committed right now. At least going to push their way through. A little shock guard set up here. A little bit of chip damage, but nothing achieved on the back of it. And the plant will come through unopposed. But a three-man flank actually coming through spawn here. Yeah, that's building, I don't want to say quietly, it's not so quiet. They're going to eventually Basically. realize something. <laughs> and keep in mind, this has to have been called out now. The audio cue has been noted. Two players seen, now three. And it's going to be a 2-1 trade out. Fnatic actually win the fight to try and pinch in towards this site. A fight needs to be won by Vision Strikers, and it's just not. Stacks now surrounded. Fnatic off to a fiery start. I can hear him behind me. These boys mean business. A beautiful retake. I mean, strength in numbers on, on that flank. Absolutely. Actually, at, at the absolute peak, the ceiling, I, I think you'd have a hard time arguing otherwise. But Vision Strikers on the other side of that, again, stylistically, this is a fantastic matchup. To see some of those, you know, intricate setups, those set pieces that are so beautiful to watch. Oh, like I actually, <laughs> open things up here, Lauren. Uh, look, we, we have Sheriff's Classics. I'm not taking too much into this round. I just want to see it clean for Fnatic. That's that's about what you'd want out of these rounds if you are going to go for that investment, of course. You want to keep, I'd say, bare minimum three alive. But if Vision Strikers can chip away at that, that would be quite exciting. But this is truly a thinking man's game. And already Boast are going to catch Lafia, so that's been dealt with. But you can see the attempt is on the other side. But that spike plant being a little elusive for now. Again, the snake bike can stacks to reconsider the plant position, but everybody's up, two tagged up. Should be too difficult for Fnatic to handle this one. Again, playing pretty cautiously. They didn't want to give away a kill, give away a weapon, and strengthen this position of Vision Strikers at all. Again, Durk and Boaster are going to come through the spawn here. And shut down Marco pretty much immediately. So again, just looking for damage here, if it's even possible. I'm sure if Stax is going to be granted a kill here, but the wall going up is... Going to pretty much secure this defuse. If Boaster can play safe, this should be five alive, which is very impressive. And actually, from try a map, that's when you start questioning things. Okay. Now this is the one that should swing favorably towards Vision Strikers. That far more flush purchase comes through up against what's left over, obviously, of that second round that did go very handedly into Fnatic's pocket. Durka looking to try and be a bit of a scythe from up top. Can't get it done. Has to fall away now. Give up a little more space. But Vision Strikers. Very standard approach for now. Nothing too committed on either side. A little bit of work on both sides of the map. Let's see a little line up there, one towards B side. Going to reveal both Magnum and Mystic's position. And actually, we'll pull Vision Strikers back towards Spike A retreat. side. Three players of an attic bunched up, I guess, towards Kitchen, Boiler, Tube, that sort of area here. Again, it's Durka and Boaster down on A site. Again, playing a little deeper this time around. They're almost ready to greet them on the back of this Viper wall. Again, actually, the investment will come through. Actually, the Viper on the other side, and I think that's going to tell Fnatic everything they need to know. A one for one initially, but Boaster will fall. Wait and see if there is that could be kind of backline wrap coming in. It looks like that's slowly building through mid for now. Vision Strikers has taken the site, though. Should be a safe spike plant. I don't think anyone's going to be challenging that. This is the fight that could get interesting, but it's been kept in check. A little low on HP, so could be in danger. You can see him trying to buy time, get Kalakia. some support there. Lucky is trying to get over here. Marco's like, please, man, get moving. Why am I still in this scenario? Magnum trying to do some damage, does well. Durka did connect at the same time, so now we're in a 3v2. Hold on. This is getting dicey. And look at what's left in this. Durka can sit the defuse as best he can. Lucky is have to go superhero mode to try and deny it. It's not working out. Fnatic, they here coming back in on this purchase now. It's going to have some uh, rough edges yeah. around it, but for now, Buzz going to take that first stride towards middle. Here. I do with the turret as well. Doma now, you can see him on the X-ray. He's drifting beneath boiler. They will pause for thought. Magnum actually getting a little curious down here. actually will win that 1v1. Buzz caught off guard there. Why don't they try and reinforce behind this? I'll be just going to swap out a weapon. Again, now this is the point of the round. And we'll sort of drift back over to the other side of the map here. Like you're going to be trailing behind a little bit. 
Interesting here. Again, once once more we see Bosa just kind of here ready to, again, take first contact. Ne not necessarily challenge, but this is where Fnatic look best when they receive the information early enough. And, and we've already seen what they're capable of in a retake here with a man advantage also. Yeah, contact now has to fall away. Respect the, the approach. Target. Those next layer to this, it's all very choreographed in mind, and you can now see the causation and, and the effect of it. 15 HP has to force out the heal. So for now, we are in the post plant. The Keep in mind, again. there was the early pick, and you're right, the double flank is now coming to play. Dirk is on it, working his way up towards belt. Mystic. Wrapping around two. As long as these two towards CT can play somewhat safe, they should be okay. And Boaster holding the line well is doing a good job. They're just once again crunching in, but Stax breaks down at least towards Domus. So that's going to be a little bit of room. They've now actually opened up, but Boaster is around the corner. Say hello to his not so little friend anymore. As Stax goes down, it's all unlucky. Yeah, he's. Yeah, I mean, maybe a little unnoted, maybe a little unconsidered. He's going to get one, but the trade seems inevitable as it is. Mystic is right there. These retakes look. I guess heavily invested towards this could be where they could try and investigate where they want to go in the buy round coming up. But these retakes need to be addressed. They need to find an adjustment to that because now we've seen a little bit of a trend to it, a little bit of a pattern that Fnatic have formed and it's, and it's working. I mean, the problem being that there is some kind of post plant utility here in this composition. The, the issue being already Fnatic have <laughs> addressed the back line, right? So Vision Strike is actually the 10. We're losing out on retakes on site. Oh, hey, let's play a little deeper. Let's, you know, plant open. Let's, let's play off the util. And that, that's now not an opportunity. That's not an option, option, sorry. Yeah, no, you're right. And and that's what I want to see them work out here. I want to see them find that next layer to this, the adjustment, if they keep wanting to go for that A piece. Because they've been able to garner the site, right? Like, yes, they get tagged up by Boaster, but that's beyond the point. For now, Spike is down, but the composed Fnatic is once again trying to work this out. Let's see how clean it is. There it is. Durka does fine. Him. And once again, Vision Strikers just have no territory in these post plants. They are just smothered by all accounts. This is on lighter weaponry, so it shouldn't be so tricky for Fnatic. And you can see confidence starting to brew and build with Durka, just doing great deals of chip damage at the same time. Mr. Fnatic going to try and pinch in on like this as well. Yes, Buzz does at least find Magnum, but a quick trade. And look, they've been maintaining numbers. If we're going to start talking economy game as well, this is... ...that comes through from Tube. Uh, it's actually fantastic. Just sit and watch the minimap in some of these rounds, honestly. Show me the adjustments now, Vision Strikers. Show me why you hold such high regard here. Everyone looks at you as one of the strongest teams. You've got to find that next layer now, because as it stands, Fnatic are just dragging this game forward. A calm start for them. Testing both sides of the map, kind of the standard approach that we've seen, but we haven't seen over-aggression yet from Fnatic either. They haven't been going on those aggressive plays. I mean, we're at round six now, and Vision Striker's first ultimate cycle just about completing. Now they've got Hunter's Fury, Rez, the Viper's Pit available, Buzz one off the Blade Storm. Also, now Stax did already use one of his ults earlier on, but I can like they might explore towards B here, but the Hunter's Fury <laughs> popped pretty early on. I'm not sure how much damage that's going to do towards B main. Boaster. All the way back over towards screens once again. Mystic gonna find a, a freebie actually on the top there versus that. Yep, Rez will come through. Well, they force their way through here. Yeah, having to respect that fall away, the KO utility doing exactly what is required of it, but this will at least facilitate the spike plant. But Boaster somehow finding Buzz. I don't know if that was a necessary pickup there. A little maybe overstep on that one, but regardless, we look at what's in front of us now. A 4v4 post plant, but even numbers this time. No early pick for Fnatic. This is the best chance maybe Vision Strikers have, but look at Durka once again working his way around. Magnum investing the old. It does seem as though Durka has gone down, so this is the best shot yet. Larky are forced to invest the ult. This is now the back and forth. Dax with the underhand flash. That could be huge. Magnum goes down. Vision Strikers looking like maybe they found an answer. Unless Doma could do something dirty. The work for Vision Strikers was that beef. Surely you've got to think they're going to go for this again and again and again now. <laughs> I mean, the concern is, is that they don't because Durka now can just float around the map and he can address a couple of different angles to shut down a B split or just hold B main like he is now. Again, what's interesting though, no drone invested here. So they've, they've spotted the operator here. without investing some of this crucial utility that obviously uh, technically flight. other than stacks is flash. They don't really have much to figure out where Durka is in the early round. And once again, we see that similar form starting to build. Three players towards that A site, a little bit more committed towards the it site this so time early. though for Fnatic. This is different from them. You can see them playing in front of 410. It's going to be Doma. Beautiful. Swing Down from Bosa. Good combination, but a better trade comes back out. But then there's Magnum. Trade comes back in from Vision Strikers 2v2 now, but it's the flank coming out in. Now you've heard the old get pop. They've got a little bit of cover to play under and Durka's his vision. He can't see it for now. They start to close the gap. 
Marco steps being heard here. Mystic going to be closing in slowly but surely. Back of the site stacks. Trying to play around this. Surely in the back of their minds, they know that flank has been present so often. Marco looking for a bit of timing here. He's going to hear those shots coming through. This is, beautiful. This is a really good concept. Could catch Mystic. Pants down, he has. Durkut, though, still alive. But looking less likely to do anything with this one. I, I guess it worked out better for Vision Strikers in the regard of how the round went, but it still was exceedingly close. Actually, I mean, considering five rounds on the bounce, look at the purchase here from Fnatic, though. Blade Storm, obviously in the hands of Durka. They're going to try and isolate RB here. He's under Durka? a lot of pressure here. Ah. But how did he just get... How did he get away with that? No trade, no nothing? I, I mean, oh. look at the setup here. Everybody else on Vision Strikers was so deep outside A main. No chance of that trade coming through. Now Dirk will roam back towards B, anticipating a rotation, but you see here Vision Strikers will creep back towards pipes under. I, I guess no pressure right now, but the Boaster once again in that same position, expecting to just try and do a little chip damage or prevent this spike from being planted for free. Do a little damage now that there's no heal. Will RB off the board? <laughs> First big intention shown now by Vision Strikers to end towards that A site. Spike being ferried through and Boaster this time does slip towards CT, looking towards that top side of Rafters. Should at least allow for a spike plant to come down. Is there any damage to come from this though? That's the thing. Vision Strikers should be able to now kind of dig their heels in. Don't let too much slip, but this time Look three the players on the way back <laughs> around. So this puts so much strain towards Marco, who's been dealing with this. He's going to hear the steps. He puts down the utility, trying to buy time. The only one here to hold on to it. We'll find Doma initially. Magnum, the one with the rifle. He's going to head up top, see if he can pick off Marco here. But Marco good for a second here. Mystic will fall Lark here as well. Reinforcements on the flank here. Durka and Bosa, the last two standing. Durka will find another. Stax deals with him. If Bosa can find any damage on the way out here. Yeah, marvelous composure from Vision Strikers in this. Yes, they lost two players, but Bosa. Get to keep sending bodies that way. Okay. And an aggressive beginning, maybe? It looks... Uh, Dirk is there just to kind of back him up. They're aware of this, though. I think they're going to commit much past this line. So all orb is recovered for Boaster. Spike retrieved. And the patient beginning for Vision Strikers once again. Going through their traditional kind of protocols that we've now seen in multitudes of rounds. Yeah, I haven't kept an eye on it, but Doma playing outside kits, again, do have the benefit of the turret in there. You know, no real need to invest the wall. But whether or not Vision Strikers, like I said, now start exploring mid a little bit. The drone actually going to be the catalyst for Mystic to pop that Viper's Pit. It's just to reinforce this hold on B site. And I love this. It's just... Again, no secrets here. It's <laughs> no. It's it's interesting, though, the utility exchange with not necessarily threat to life yet. It's just that, okay, we'll show a little here. Okay, we'll force the op. Back and forth we go. Now, Dirk has not left this spot. He's been pretty much posted up here the entire time. He now knows someone is there. Takes down RB, falls back, but not that far. He still wants to linger around on this. Could be in danger, though. Has left. to keep peeling away now. Mosta keeps his drone so late, and it, it, it's, it's always at the time they, they find contact elsewhere. Ten seconds pass, he invests it and finds everything they need to on a site. Strikers will get the plant. Spike planted. Again, now they're going to try and reset away. They want to address this flank now. They want bodies back on their side of the site to hold on to this. But look at Fnatic. With that ult popped, you know that already Mystic's going to be later on this rotation anyway. And they don't have that same presence on the flank just yet. This is a new looking retake coming back in from Fnatic. Already Magnum going to be the one first to step towards the site. Needs to try and take down that back line. You've got Stax waiting patiently. You've got Buzz right there. Flashes galore. Buzz going to turn in on this one. Sprays in. No one's on it for now. It's just a touch trying to draw out that utility. But Bosa does find Buzz. Going to push himself forward. The showman himself can't quite make it happen. Marco is on it. And now we trade out to just Fnatic alive. But time, it's not on their side. Free purchase. If you string it rounds together like that, it, it never feels good. Now, and the resilience, though, being shown by Vision Strikers here on map one, which a lot of us has touted as kind of the, ah, uh, not necessarily make or break, but a, a bit of a tell for how the rest of the series could go. And so far, it looks like a damn good game is about what we're about to take away from this. But I love the ability to see that these guys took that time out, addressed the issues, and come back in and looked incredible. But Dirk is going walkabouts, and he's lost. 
to Stax there. Beautiful catch, and once again, the patience paying off. Uh, I'm not sure this is the adjustment you want to see from Fnatic as well. Like, the, you don't want to see them go, again, res available. <laughs> What's the value here? Again, Boast has been fantastic with his utility so far, so I'm not sure what the confirmation is there, what the what exactly is gained by Durka going with walkabouts. And now, actually, post A site, aggression. Vision Strikers will drift towards B. Mystic just missing this cross, but now with the Viper's Wall invested. No secrets on the way in here. No. Already buzz though. Working the way through, wall goes up, and actually brilliant <laughs> spot there from Buzz. Takes Magnum away, which was kind of the man posted up closest to site, so now everyone else is kind of forced to peel away from this. I was looking at the two players kind of hitting that flank coming around, and instantly looking a little more sheepish to go for this. Don't we considering the res, actually, yeah. just uh, thinking better of it. And again, with Stax's ult there, it's difficult for Magnum and Mystic to even contest that coming through again, completely suppressed. No, no possibility ahead. of mollies or the smoke coming up. There's, there's really not much for them to do at all. See, here's three members of Fnatic going to opt to hold on to their weapons. The strikers will actually tie things up. It's 5-0. Yeah. Fair enough. Let's see if he goes for it again, though. Man's on a mission to explore, and Buzz now knows it, but he's not on his own here. He's got support. Durka is not on the island alone. Not necessarily shipwrecked just yet. Larkia trying to get that jump peak just to ensure no one's going beyond that line that they've drawn. A bit of denial of information as Durka only showing his presence and attendance once again. But they're willing to fight this one, Vision Strikers. They're not completely sitting back here. Durka happy to contest it as well. Ooh, this Fury comes pop. through from pretty deep. Whether or not Durka's going to try and follow up on this. Let's see, Bud's going to have to burn the dash to get out of that. Instant rotation. And again, I think Vision Strikers think, hey, that's the guy that's usually solo on eight. If he's in position to find range on towards B main, maybe there's an opportunity here, a window yep. of opportunity to find space. Wall goes up. They still need to be careful just in case someone's ratting away somewhere, but that's not the case at all. And actually, Buzz looking to try and get a little cheeky with it. <laughs> See if he can catch someone out of place, but no one's offering anything up right now. Spike is going to be planted. Wall's there to facilitate, and now Durka looks for that opportunity himself. Once again, no one giving them quarter at this point. Wall now gets broken, though. But Durka, look at the HP. 10 is all he's got to play with here. Then two snake bites available. <laughs> Stax has thrown his nade on. All of this buying time here. Fnatic still got numbers. Come through. Actually, RB finds Magnum on the push. Yeah, yeah and another and one as well. RB is now feeling himself. Goes in as well. Gets the third. Can fall away from this. Leaving Boaster, the only man alive. And I think he knows this one is done. Oh! <laughs> Off cooldown. Get out of my Last way. Last round coming through, and it's uh, it's scrappy on the side of Fnatic in terms of inventory. Three rifles, if you call a Guardian and Bulldog in that equation. Oh, Marco. I feel like Durk's about to get done. Look at the damage on the way back. Trade-off, actually, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Durk a little worse word, but he does have at least the ability to get himself topped back up to a decent amount of HP. Falls away from this, but they're, they're trying to poke and prod into this Vision Striker side, but this default is really showing its validity here. Yes, indeed. And with this lockdown, whether or not Fnatic are leaning a little further away from sight, just to rely on that, but lucky with the Hunter's Fury, it can't be the be-all and end-all for Fnatic in this retake. Until he's dealt with an Ashi, Magnum will be suppressed there. Actually, he's got to pull right back. There's a little, little time created on the back of that I like for them this to reset. Marco. Look at this, Magnum, oh, the shoulder check just to the right mm -hmm. time. Mystic. Mystic through the wall. Get out of there. Thanks out Marco, but while all this happens, the spike is down. Time is favorable to Vision Strikers here. No Poster. Way. The timing oh, on that. The timing. Oh, How has he gone away with this? Larkia. Gonna take a face full of it, but Stax has got his number. Stax is just beating down Boaster right now. And already, yes, the ult's invested. RB plays the game and he wins it. Swings so perfectly. But it's Stax now in the 1v2. Diffuse now coming in. Mystic does not want to get off this. He's gonna try and sit this as best he can. Stax! No. Oh. Oh, that could have been <laughs> everything. Dirk is up. But the question is, is it enough now to weather the next half coming in? Dirk is straight away heading up towards belt and just a little bit of a lean towards A, to say the least. Everyone's in attendance. Yeah, and I'm glad that the desk did touch on Dirk because this is the one that eyes on now on attack to cause some problems for Vision Strikers. 
in Information Garden. You can see the adjustment here straight away on the back of that information from Stax. And I think not pushing through just yet. And conscious of any mid-aggression on the back of that, or at least trying to catch a rotation maybe, because I think they've anticipated exactly the same thing. Looks like an audible will be called, and Marco will actually spot, I think, two sets of legs crossing there. There's the rotation. It looks as though that's exactly the case. They've responded pretty swiftly to this. No, no damage traded off just yet. 45 seconds left on the clock. Fanatic stacked up towards B main. Again, the Vipers will, will confirm what they already believe. Molly will buy a little bit of time. Snake Bite will force off default. You get a deeper wall this time around from Doma. Really nice. Look at wait, Fnatic are pushing deep CT. Look at this fight already brewing. But it looks like Buzz was engagement. all but aware. Mystic the next maybe on the chopping block, but Buzz trying to do the dance, get out of dodge. He still stays alive. Takes poster with him. Stacks down next in line. He's still gonna thrive against Mystic. We're down to just Doma and it's all falling to pieces. Vision strikers. Wow. What a way to handle Fnatic's pressure. I, I love that little set piece from Fnatic. I honestly. I mean, I'd love for it to be this round. <laughs> There's a sheriff here. Yeah? Go on, Durka. Go on, Durka. No, I'm not... Uh, do you know what? Prove me wrong. I'm, I'm down to be proven wrong. Not a bad start for the young Finn. <laughs> Solid. But this should be, as we always say, clean for Vision Strike. Is that what we look at? Keeping as many right. players and live shooters. And as it stands, that is exactly the case. They've done exceedingly well here. No overstepping, no giving away. Yes, Dirk is still alive, so there, there could be something. Keep in mind. Okay. Alongside stacks. And Fnatic slow in their approach in initially as well. Yeah. Just, I, I mean, actually, almost anticipating a little aggression here, but... Hey, it's like it's not going to show their hand. No, and it, it's not a massive assumption, is it? You've got spectres across the board. Like they I said, yeah, that. but they want to close the distance, ultimately. Yep, it's not a bad shout. And if anything, you just hold a default a little longer. Keep in mind, you could be coming up against a stack, something a little you know, out of the ordinary if you're trying to convert a spectre round. Don't mind it. I mean, the thing is here, against stacks and lackey, a benefit off this 30-second lull, almost, because mm -hmm. their, their, their utility's on cooldown. Again, if anything, they can maybe confirm something here. As you can see, yeah, lackey is... We can bolt back online now, just waiting on Stax's utility as well. And actually, Lakia finds Mystic through the poison orb in mid. <laughs> must uh, be nice. <laughs> yeah, it must be nice to be able to get away with that sort of thing. Flash through the wall, and away we go. They push right on in. I like that concept. Beautiful. But so does Magnum. Still good for two. And Buzz looking for another victim. I think he just saw what? a pixel out of place. That's it looked like he got a tag on him, but I don't think it was a headshot in the end somehow. But how is Buzz still here? Getting away with murder. But finally catches the case himself. As now it's just down to Marco left in a 1v3. Spike yet to be planted. But is there a gate or a window, a chance? It doesn't look like it is. Someone was surely being closed by Fnatic Boaster wanting to dip. That's you. That's you find a Phantom are. as well. So not an awful lot left in terms of finances behind this. Back in no way. Oh, not oh, again, oh. man. And it's Mystic. <laughs> it's, the, it's the controller. It's the smoker, it's the one. Oh, they're just. They can deny in. all this information now. This is horrible. This is really horrible for Fnatic, but for Vision Strikers, you know they're grinning on this one internally, just <laughs> knowing they've done it. And RB wants to just really make it hurt. Take that space. It's going to be relatively clear. You can see Boaster lingering around a little longer. But the second he crests that corner, hey, he ain't here. Get ready towards A, maybe. Be careful. <laughs> Yeah, what's left for Fnatic to make use of here? Still don't have Doma's wall. Boaster will dart back side, but nothing really confirmed on the back of that other than it being destroyed. Slow in approach once again. Fnatic have to be so cautious here without the use of smokes or anything on the way in to hard clear all these close angles. There's three bodies for Vision Strikers behind this. And we talk about utility, left. Vision Strikers are excellent at keeping a late game still, manage to chip away and just work down Fnatic, who are running into a bit of a brick wall as it stands. They have nothing to access in this. It, it, 15 seconds, it's safe. They're backing. Yeah. 
They, they are finding so few opportunities after that initial play that came down. I love that little mid piece that was trying Ten to be worked left. out and just gorgeous work from Lakia, showing such great diligence playing through. At the moment, though, just keeping the rifles is the name of the game, and it becomes a... ...around you have to throw into the mix, and a buy that then falls away, and it becomes really, really difficult. Potential for maybe a little set piece towards B, but it's only Doma that's going to be noted. So again, no adjustment required by Vision Strikers necessarily. It's 2-2-1 two, two, with Marco being the solo player towards A right now. This looks like around that actually, like I said, Fnatic might actually explore mid, might actually explore towards you know the backside of B. Buzz. Actually gonna Ooh, this timing could be everything for him. It's so good! Death from above, but now he's been noted, tries to fall away and does. He has lost his support though. Stacks gets picked up in the meantime. But it looks like no quick springboard off the back of this coming out for Fnatic. But look at that mid control. You said they want to try and explore this. And all they found is Larkier is damn good at what he does. So this top mid takes down one. Rez comes out, so he's still in a 4v4. But look at the space they've garnered. We need Magnum to deliver. He's seen the barrel of the gun oh, on no. the way. Oh, oh he's no. made a meal of it. He's made an absolute meal of it. And that's going to come back to haunt you, because that could have been the maybe swing factor in this round. For now, though, it's going to be Doma. Doma! Dirty up above and over. Fights two, left. puts Marco under the Fight gun now. 30 it. HP. He's going to have to try and find both. Close that gap somehow. He's got to win this one versus Durka. Initially, he's holding close contact here. Does have his dash, so he can pull away. But it looks like it might set up a little bit of a crossfire here. Marco cre creeping closer. And Let's now swing it to the other side, though. Buzz has the the bigger now. Hey, I mean, I was talking about now with some of these rounds where Fnatic have to you know, overcome completely new obstacles, throw an operator in the mix. For good measure, why not? Bladestorm available as well. Lucky, I guess, just on information duty alone here, only down to a pistol. Here. Let's wait and see now. As Fnatic has five stacked up towards A right now. And looking... As close to an all-in piece as you could probably expect here. Mystic one away from the ult. Magnum one away from his ult as well. Two key pieces of... Oh, both are actually spotted there. I don't know if that's it. Yeah, they're going to now swarm out of this corner. But yeah, Buzz kept honest for the time being as well. Has to fall behind that. Viper wall here, but Magnum over the top again. Yeah, That's the second time we've seen that. This is position. lovely work from Magnum, finding stacks on an island after Buzz was forced to fall away. Now, ult's being invested basically on either side. You can see it. Now, Dome of the Berserker on top, going to try and push himself a little further towards the side, get that spike down while he knows left. he's got the safety around him. And now we look at what's the retake looking like for Vision Strikers. We saw Fnatic looking exceedingly strong at it. Revealing this, I don't think you're going to see anything. Nope. And again, respecting this setup, it, it, they have a stranglehold on a site right now with that Viper's Pit. Again, lockdown, clearing out everything. Vision Strikers don't even want to play the game. Mm -mm. They will give this round up. <laughs> I think this is such a telling sign, though, of these two teams, right? That we've seen a 5v4 full on save coming out basically from Vision Mutual Strikers. Mutual respect. It really is. And, and I mean, yes, the utility is plentiful and the ults are invested, but, you know. It's, it's that smart approach, playing for the long run when you still have a, a round in the pocket. But hey, we were saying, do we do we see Fnatic have that depth? And they've shown they actually do, even with... Really? really? No. Really? No. Huh, weird. He throws a smoke and runs the other way. Okay. Okay, I, I'm, I'm liking what we're seeing here. Already. Is that four confirmed on the back of that, I think? It's, it's got to be. Look how close they were towards this. Buzz still going to be sitting around, though, over towards Yellow. You're going to see him trying to play this out. What can he get done with that op? It's finally in play. Maybe this is his moment to do something to deny Fnatic to try and take this scoreline yeah. away from them again. He's still alive. He's still got a pixel to play with, but it looks like Dirk is aware. Not going to fall away completely, though. He still has some support on his side, but he's just being cut away from having viability in that round. So has to fall on back. Wait, and so are Fnatic. Taking a second. Pause for thought. Didn't over cook the pot on this one. I think just waiting for this toxin to build back up, give them a, a bigger window of opportunity. Again, just about now. That's so they do deal with. Yeah, so nobody gonna be suppressed here, so wall goes up. They'll force their way through. A deeper wall once again from Doma. 30 seconds left. Nothing really here in terms of 
pressure towards this plant right, on the side of vision strikers and buzz has been denied Unscathed. so much yeah. at this point he's been forced away utility work from fanatic has been lovely to watch they've really made him just n completely lost in this he's, he's not found a pick that could work him at all so a 5v5 retake coming out for vision strikers this time they look like they want to commit to this one and away we go bus first man in but it's Durka to greet him with a smile and already doma the next one in line and the berserker is looking good with a blade but it's Durka, Durka putting on a sh so good after how these last few rounds have gone to get around like that again get a big confidence builder back in the fanatic camp and they know they've broken the money that's yep. the huge part of this. They've broken the economy of Vision Strikers. This should be 11 on the board for Fnatic. And this has been mind games galore. This must be so strenuous to try and work back and forth here. For now, though, Fnatic leading towards that A site. Three players stacked up towards middle, though, for Vision Strikers. Maybe looking to get on those back lines pretty quickly. I think maybe on the back of confirmation of presence here yeah as soon as the owl drone comes through you can see that creep towards mid but alarm bot gonna give them away mystic actually playing underneath belt as well magnamatic gonna open things up once again stacks will fall buzz actually swings ahead of me finds two headshots he will be dealt with by doma where did he just pull them out of buzz just light years ahead of them but still, the issue is there's three rifles here. We've got plenty still to play with, but he has at least slowed the roll, right? Like, they forced Fnatic to pull back for a second now. 30 seconds, Res invested. They've got some belief in this round, but Mystic might just erase that. Dips through the smoke, says hello. That's one. That's going to be maybe the fourth. No, stack still stands. And it is a 1v1. I can't use that. He's got his res, though. He does. You're going to see him pause here again. Stacks, 11 HP. No chance of him pushing through, but there's 10 seconds left here. Time. They, how the hell are they going to do this? Stax can do so standing. much damage in this one. Five eight. seconds now. Stax 11 HP has to deal with a full HP. Durka. Time, time is up. Again, in you're in the moment. Yep. It's it. You, you don't think clearly. There's so much pressure on the stage between these two. Standing ahead. But that is going to be one that stings because they could have genuinely turned that round. There was two opportunities. I'd say wholeheartedly in their favor. But back in we go. We have the buy coming out for both sides. I'm looking at the alt economy, something we haven't really even lent towards here. It's just been cycling through, neither really thriving in this round anyway. But let's see what Fnatic have up the sleeve. And efficient strikers can just finally shut them down for a second now. Yeah. <laughs> it's, caught, uh, it's not a bug. Mystic is in spawn all the way at the top of the okay. ramp. So uh, just trying to, I don't know, Skyrim horse out of the map. Yeah, just to catch this fank, and it, which makes me think actually the Hunter's Fury is going to be relied upon here in this post plant. Fnatic can find right here access to a site. Not liking what they mm -mm. they saw initially. RB's got himself into a tricky little spot here in mid as well, but not spotting the cross. As Fnatic once again looked. <laughs> Magnum had real problems with that recon bolt for a moment. They, they have peeled players away though. They they did lean back towards being for a second left. But yeah, this is now going to be. The call. Cool. Abby's walking it himself, and actually the timing could be correct. Boaster is now looking like he's going to be chopped liver, going to go down. Comfy pick up there for RB. Can slip away into the night as well. But by now, the B site is going to be the destination for Fnatic. You can see Marco has been here patiently. 13 seconds. He's a late round hit. RB takes away as much of the wall as he can. Wants to try and punish on the way out. Can't catch too much. A little bit of chip damage. But it's Durka. again. Just slippery enough to make it away as Marco desperately wanted to grab him back down. Down to a 4v4. No flank coming through yet. The wall going to be invested and in. tap onto the spike initially. And actually, the recon ball is going to be huge. Marco will find Mystic. Now, actually, Vision Strikers look to pile on the pressure. Magnum. It's that here to allow Vision Strikers to lean a little heavier. Actually, five members of Fnatic stacked up on the other side. And Marco will respect the Owl Drone for the time being. Well, actually, Fnatic right might just force their way through here. The Viper wall invested already. Standing ahead. Close to going through the motions, but Ooh, Marco. That's a nice start. That <laughs> is nearly, beautiful. Nearly gets a nearly gets him wall back. Is he investing? Oh, he is. Okay, so this is still being contested enough for now, but forced to back away. It gives him full control of default. Again, the snake bite will keep them off the plant for the time being, or at least pushing through towards it. Still got 50 seconds if they want to toy with other Caution, concepts, yeah. but 
There's no control elsewhere, though. That's, That's the true. problem if Fnatic do drift away from B. Yeah, I've seen Fnatic as well push yeah. CT, keep in mind. They have been happy to kind of push down to where Buzz is, but that wall going to keep them locked in for now, but it's pause. Not necessarily thought, but alt. <laughs> as Marco is still going to be a problem to try and clear out of this corner. 25 seconds. Alt gets popped. He's forced to back away, and there's that CT swing again. Mystic this time does find Marco. Boast up. Watch Buzz out of the air. And now Stax and RB faced with a really improbable scenario. RB trying to do unthinkable things, but it's just Stax. What is this round? I don't know. It's in. I'll leave you to break this one down unless Stax can somehow dismantle Fnatic. It's looking very unlikely as he's trying to find a little bit of safety for a second and dip away and see if that rifle will stay within his clutch. Uh, Fnatic literally paused for 20 to 25 seconds behind that. Again, the wall almost hindering them in terms of kind of countering that Viper's bit. But I, I don't know what happened off screen there, but it seemed like just with the. The, the flip of a switch, straight away Fnatic falls through. They find Marco so quickly on the back of that. The Hunter's Fury all the way to back. Spawn, again, creates this kind of pocket of pressure where Fnatic Ray will push through to spawn once again. I I'm not sure how that fell apart for Vision Strikers. Rifles across the board for Vision Some Strikers. Some missing, though. Uh, yeah, a couple of gaps in terms of the utility. Armor as well for Lockyer. Here. I think slow in approach once again. And now I think actually it leans back Mystic bravely to walk mid once again. We'll find RB as well. Buzz though. All the pressure on this man's shoulders. If he does want to stay around this sort of spot, keep that map control in his favor. Stax knows that he's getting more and more isolated here. This map's looking a little diced up, doesn't it? Now Magnum, the timing's everything. Lockyer is completely unaware. Audio cue will be heard. Mystic! Oh, the turn of events as Stax does get Mystic. And now the turn from Fnatic looking right back around. Maybe just to the back of Magnum being pushed up towards middle, he can punish the rotations. They have free and safe passage towards the A site. And it's all because of Magnum's positioning right now. He's keeping them all locked in. This is actually devastating for Vision Strikers because Magnum's here. Again, if he can just find what he spotted out pretty early on. Time, time. Ahead of this plant. And again, you're absolutely right. He's going to try and buy time, but he's picked off here. Didn't love that. Looked like he was desperately trying to get back to the pack, but now it puts it down to two. Durker and Boaster. The brains and brawn of Fnatic. Boaster, though, takes the swing, takes the life of Buzz. Wants another, can't get it. Stacks denies. And now Durker, the brawn of the side, the muscle. Trying to find one. Vision Strike is clawing onto this round as best they can, but he's found a copy, a little bit of safety. Marco, you expect it! Dark has found him, and now the 1v1. Dark has 